it's, I'm, I'm quite surprised. We had a nice crowd. They all came out. It was snowing when they came out. It stopped snowing after they got here. But they came out and it shows the, uh, the, uh, the stubbornness of, 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 of the, Jewish, uh, the Jewish spark. Because uh, when it's Hanukkah, people come. And uh, that, that was great. I think we had about 30, 40 people here. People here. And uh, that, that's despite the weather. So I'm really, really surprised. The, 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 the soul and, the, uh, and, and, and the, uh, the most important part of the program is the lighting of the menorah. That's really what everyone comes for. So we were able to do that. And thankfully, it wasn't very windy, so we didn't have a lot of problems lighting the candles. So in that regard, it worked out. We're here today to pay tribute. To pay tribute to the Maccabees of old, who fought for Jewish liberation, who fought for the right of practicing their religion. And despite the fact that they were vastly outnumbered by the enemy, the Syrian Greek military, the Syrian Greek empire, they were vastly outnumbered. Not only were they outnumbered, they were also outpowered, but they were miraculously able to overcome the enemy and drive them out of Jerusalem and regain control of the temple and kindle the menorah. And despite the fact that they had enough oil to last for only one day, it burned for as many as eight days until such time that they were able to procure fresh olive oil to kindle the menorah on a daily basis. So here we are to pay tribute to that miracle, to their great show of Jewish pride and, uh, and of, uh, of Jewish strength and to also pay tribute to all the great heroes of Jewish history. Yeah. Throughout the course of history our people have been persecuted and tortured and challenged and throughout the entire course of history we've been able to overcome challenge after challenge <clears throat> and obstacle after obstacle. It's quite amazing to think that it wasn't very long ago that the Hanukkah candles were hidden behind closed doors, behind drawn curtains, whether it was in the camps of the Nazi Holocaust camps or whether it was under the Soviet oppression of, of religious oppression or whether it was anywhere else. The Hanukkah candles were gathered in secret behind closed doors and drawn curtains where fathers and mothers gathered with their children to teach them about the Hanukkah miracle in secret, <clears throat> scared and worried about who's going to be the next one to come in through the door to knock on their door, possibly to arrest them and take them away. And here we are today on the Westford Town Common in Westford, Massachusetts to kindle mm -hmm. the menorah in public together. What a celebration, what a great opportunity to an expression of Jewish pride and Jewish greatness and how thankful we have to be for the freedoms that we are afforded by this great country. The thankfulness that our nation has expressed just recently on the day of Thanksgiving, we express it here today for the ability to be able to practice our religion out in the open here on the town common. We always have joining with us our state representative, Mr. Jim Arciero, who's not here with us this year because he has been with his family mourning the loss of his father, the recent loss of his father. And together we hope that he and his family will <coughs> be able to gather strength to go on to continue doing the great things that he does on behalf of our community, on behalf of our uh, great town. But every year he also brings along a proclamation that is signed and passed by the House of Representatives in honor of Hanukkah, proclaiming the festival of Hanukkah as a day of celebration for the entire state of Massachusetts. He's not here to read it for us today, but I'm going to ask Lieutenant Colonel Sam Poulton to come forward and read the proclamation for us. Lieutenant Colonel Sam Poulton with his granddaughter's beautiful granddaughter, Lily. Lily. Thank you, Rabbi. Chag Sameach and Nes Gadol Haya by New York. The Patriots won 17 to 16, so our own band of Maccabees prevailed today. And I'm uh, honored to read this on behalf of Representative Arciero. Are you listening, Lily? Whereas the Jewish festival of Hanukkah will be celebrated throughout the world from the evening of December 16th through December 24th in the year 2014. And whereas the celebration of Hanukkah commemorates the courageous victory of a small army, which although greatly outnumbered prevailed against the forces of religious persecution. And whereas a great miracle followed the victory when a small jar with only enough oil to burn a single day burned for eight days, 
The miracle of light is preserved around the world through the lighting of the menorah, symbolizing the ideal of religious freedom and offering a beacon of hope to all those still subject to spiritual oppression. And whereas Rabbi C. Zalman Gurkha, leader, director, and rabbi of the Chabad of the Shoba Valley, will be sharing the joy of light with the citizens of Westford and all surrounding communities by kindling a menorah in the Westford Common on Sunday, December 21st. And whereas the annual lighting of the menorah in the Westford Common confirms the faith of all people in the universal right to religious expression and spiritual freedom in the Commonwealth and around the globe. Therefore, be it resolved that the Massachusetts House of Representatives hereby joins with people everywhere in the celebration of Hanukkah and invites citizens of the Commonwealth to attend the annual lighting of the menorah in their communities and be it further resolved that a copy of these resolutions be forwarded by the clerk of the House of Representatives to Rabbi C. Zalman Gurko, and it's my honor to do just that, Rabbi Muzzle Talk. I accept this on behalf of the entire community, of course. This is signed by the Speaker of the House, by the Clerk of the House, and by the Representative. Thank you very much. James R. Sierra. <laughs> James R. Sierra. <laughs> and Lily Thank you say, very much, Lily. You have a dreidel. Here. Atta girl. You keep the dreidel, okay? <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Rabbi. And we thank, Come of course, the representative for, for getting this passed on our behalf. <laughs> thank you. As well as expressing our thanks to the town of Westford for permitting and for allowing and for assisting the erecting of the menorah on the common every year, this year included, and for permitting this gathering here on the common today. Also to express our thanks to the city of Lowell for the erecting of the menorah in front of Lowell City Hall, and also the Pheasant Lane Mall in Nashua for erecting our menorah on the lower level of the mall at the Pheasant Lane Mall in Nashua. You'll remember last year we gathered here to celebrate the engagement of Freddy and Shua. And this year, Malki and I are thrilled to share with you that Freddy and Shua brought us our first granddaughter, our first grandchild. So here we are celebrating them as well. And I understand they're on their way. So I think the newest member of the Neshoba Valley Jewish community is on her way in. And they'll join us shortly. And I'll take the opportunity to also express our thanks to Mr. Alan Rubin, who's been unable to make it here this evening. He had every plan to make it, but he didn't make it. He sponsored the menorah in memory of his brother, in loving memory of Michael Robert Rubin. And we thank him for the contribution. We also thank all of our sponsors and donors throughout the course of the year that allow Chabad to run our activities throughout the course of the year. In honor of Hanukkah, Chabad has been distributing many hundreds of such Hanukkah kits to Jews throughout the area so that everyone has a chance to light the Hanukkah candles. If you know anyone who needs a Hanukkah menorah and candles, please take a kit, two or three, for anyone who you think might need have a need or use it even if it's for yourself. Chabad has also arranged for the menorahs that were erected here on the common and in Lowell at City Hall and also at the Pheasant Lane Mall in Nashua. Chabad has also arranged Hanukkah celebrations in local nursing homes and prisons so that Jews in those places can also be touched and be included in the Hanukkah celebration. And we've also, thanks with, to the help of the great people at Westford Cat, we've been able to also this year shoot a Hanukkah program which is being aired on Westford Cat and also on Groton Cable Access Television. It's also available on their YouTube link and everyone's invited to, uh, to uh, tune in and take a look. And we look forward to doing so in the future for further programs as well. We thank Westford Cat for being here and shooting today's event as well and the Lowell Sun who's covering today's event and everyone who's come here to celebrate. And I want to thank the Colonel also for announcing the Patriots score because everyone was very nervous. <laughs> everyone had taken off from watching the game to come celebrate Hanukkah. Thank you very much for sharing that very important piece of information. So we're going to go straight to the menorah lighting and we'll do it the way we do it every year. We'll first light the Shamish 
the candle in the center, and then we'll do the blessings together, and then we'll light the rest of the candles, and we'll join together in the singing of Ma'os Tzur. So we'll start by lighting the Shabbos. Yay! Oi. Are you ready? Yeah. And we'll recite the blessings together. Baruch Now that we've kindled the menorah and the common, it's time for all of us to go home and be heroes and to light the candles together with our families and to celebrate Hanukkah, to fry a few latkes and to take a dreidel and to play some dreidel and to kindle the menorah and to be proud as for who we are and to celebrate the freedoms that we have and the ability to express our Jewish pride, our Jewish strength. And in case you need a Hanukkah kit, like I said, take one from here. If you need a mezuzah on your door, let us know. If you need to join a Jewish class, join our classes. If you want to come and taste the experience of a, of a genuine Shabbat, let us know. Any Jewish need you might have, contact Chabad. We're here for you. We have now lit up the night on the Westford Town Common 10 years in a row. 
and we plan to keep going for at least another 10 times 10. So we will continue to grow the community and continue to expand our efforts to provide Jewish growth and Jewish needs for everyone throughout the Neshoba Valley and surrounding areas. Thank you very much. Happy Hanukkah. God willing, we'll be here again next year with a much better weather and much more festivities.